Hey. Um, today I would like to talk about a book that I read. And actually my next couple of videos will be about the books that I've read and I would like to share some information with you. And today um, it's going to be about cancer. Because when you suppress the immune system with the V, then other diseases get free play. So there will be a higher occurrence of cancers in the next couple of months and years. And so I think it's important that people know how to treat cancer, what's the best lifestyle to adopt. So uh, the, the title of the book is Cancer as a Metabolic Disease on the Origin, Management and Prevention of Cancer, Thomas N. Seafried. Uh, the book is dedicated to the millions of people who have suffered and died from toxic cancer therapies. You know, I've told you that my dad died from pancreatic cancer. And yes, um, he had chemotherapy, which is absolutely toxic to the body. It also kills healthy cells. Um, but he also took my advice of taking curcumin, vitamin D, and instead of living only 12 months, what the doctors gave him, he lived actually five years with pancreatic cancer. So there's something to say for the lifestyle changes that I made him do, I make. Um, I put him on a keto diet and I gave him total supplements, curcumin and vitamin D. Uh, in this book, um, Seafried talks, Thomas Seafried talks about very important things that we never hear about. You know, the, all the years of cancer therapy that they do research on. Um, I'd never heard of Warburg, uh, but Warburg was the first to describe in detail the dependence of cancer cells on glucose in order to maintain viability following irreversible respiratory damage. More than 40 years in search of a cure for cancer have not acknowledged this fact. It is either cut, poison or burn. And I will come back to this point a bit later. Um, because it is, is killing the patient faster, actually. Um, you can cut out the tumor, you know, but you cannot cut out the belief that created it. So it's actually a lifestyle change that will prevent the cancer from coming back. Uh, and then there was this big genome project. You remember? Uh, we never hear about it anymore because that was actually a project that was to prove that cancer is a genetic disease and it's not it's epigenetic you know it's the genes that load the gun but it's the environment that pulls the trigger and so lifestyle is everything and Pasteur actually said the same thing it's all about the terrain you know it's it's, it's not about the bacteria it's actually the terrain where it comes into and that's the same with viruses, you know, a virus won't kill you if your immune system is strong. But if you're weak, then the virus, you know, can, can harm you. Um, but, you know, we live in a society where you make people believe it is all about genetics. So people then think it doesn't care. Whatever they do, they will get that disease. So it's learned helplessness. And once they get sick, then the pharmaceutical industry just sells you off by the pound. <laughs> that is literally what they do. Um, this book was moreover interesting when I read the chapter about viral infections and cancer. Because it's a trigger of 15% of the cancers. And some of the um, viral um, uh, diseases were Epstein-Barr, herpes... Hepatitis B and C. And the most interesting one was HIV. Um, because yeah, that's a human immunodeficiency virus. And uh, it causes 10 times that you will get more likely to get cancer. Because it's, it's immunodeficient. Um, and uh, if people studied the V... Um, they also know that this substance is actually in the V and, and that is the reason why your immune system is, your natural immune system is hurt by, by the V. So you can, you're not protected for C, 
and it will actually make your immune system weaker and more prone to get cancer. Um, so this is serious business. It's all about healthy mitochondria because the mitochondria are the energy powerhouse cells in your body. You know, if you have unhealthy mitochondria, then you can get all kinds of diseases. Um, so to keep your mitochondria healthy, um, you need sunlight, uh, very important. Also infrared light helps, um, good sleep, uh, a good diet with meat, fish, um, maybe with some supplements like vitamin D, curcuma, green tea, uh, berberine if you've got sugar issues, um, cold and heat exposure, <laughs> uh, taking very cold showers uh, of going into a sauna, that is really good for your mitochondria, and exercise, of course, because that, that's no news, right? <laughs> So damaged mitochondria are the root of all cancers. The current view of cancer as a hodgepodge of many different cancers is incorrect. Proof is that when you interrupt glucose intake, all cancers stop growing. Um, but uh, let's, have, let's have a look at the uh, standard of care uh, of cancer patients, which is cut, poison and burn. So let's look at the first one. Um, surgery causes trauma and scar tissue. And that is the perfect soil for new cancer cells. So you cut out the, the tumor, but it actually creates more soil for let the tumor to, to grow again. Then there is poison. Um, of course, you've got drugs and chemotherapy. And oh, they also kill off healthy cells that actually keeps the patient alive. So, um, yeah, you also create uh, the risk of making the tumor more resistant, just like with to burn, you know, with radiation. You can only have a few of those sessions because the tumor gets resistant to that therapy. And I knew all this also when my dad had cancer. Um, in spite of all this information, I told my dad, he kept believing that uh, his oncologist would do everything to provide him with the best health care possible. But real health care is self-care. Um, anyways, my dad took the chemo and I had to accept that and support him. Um, in the hospital, he got assigned an, um, a dietitian. <laughs> Overweight with acne and a puffy face. <laughs> uh, that was pretty surprising. You know, you would imagine that something, somebody who has a lot of knowledge about a good diet would look healthy as well. Because the health of your skin, how your skin looks, is actually the mirror of the inside of your body, of course. Um, so that was, that was an alarm bell going off that this dietitian might not be the best one. During his chemo, she offered him ice cream, the very thing that feeds the cancer. You know, if you don't know what glucose is, glucose is sugar, but it is also found in all carbs like white rice, bread, crackers, pasta, cookies, name it, all the crap. <laughs> that's, that's what glucose is. Um, and uh, my father asked for cheese or piece of meat or sausage uh, or, you know, a glass of milk. Um, but she refused. Yeah. <laughs> and she offered him orange juice instead. You know, that pasteurized stuff, that sugar laden. <laughs> oh, my God, it's terrible. She stated that cancer patients should avoid losing weight. And so anything sweet was OK. Um, not only did she give the worst dietary advice possible, she was also killing my dad in the process. Um, adding insult to injury, she said that my in-depth research, after having read the book about uh, cancer as a metabolic disease, um, that's, uh, that was not uh, part of standard of care and uh, that she was an expert in uh, the dietary advice uh, in oncology.
So for cancer patients. So th this is this is how we make and keep people sick in a sick society and sick beliefs, <laughs> really. Um, her treatment, she said, was so-called successful, but, you know, in the process, the patient dies, you know. Yeah, yeah, sure, the treatment is successful, but yet the patient died, unfortunately. You know, a story is just a story until you rewrite it. So how often are we going to repeat those same mistakes before we're going to change anything? Um, and that requires massive personal action. Really, you have to change something in your life that will make sure that that cancer is not coming back or a cancer cannot grow. Um, well, pharmaceutical companies, as you all know, um, are as interested in public health as a weapon industry in world peace. Now I'm going to repeat that one because I thought that one was really good. I heard it said as uh, Christine, I don't know her last name anymore, but that was at the um, European uh, Union um, speech. And she said uh, about the V, that the pharmaceutical companies are as interested in public health as a weapon industry in world peace. So I'll uh, leave you all with that one. And uh, I will do my next book also in my next audio. And stay healthy. Um, use the knowledge wisely. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. And uh, remember, genetics is only what loads the gun. It's the environment that pulls the trigger. If you make sure that your diet is like a keto diet, high fat, low carb, you will have a healthy, more chance of having a healthy, long life. So that's my message to you all. And I think it's important, you know, you have to keep your immune system healthy. Okay, bye-bye.